the number of casualties is, is really rising. But also to uh, remind our audience that this area, the government has appointed uh, local committees or are, are popular committees uh, from the locals there who are armed to protect the area. So it is um, hard to understand how these uh, uh, explosives manage to get into, uh, into the area. Uh, um, at the same time, while these blocks are taking place, uh, government forces are still uh, using heavy artillery and uh, machine guns towards other rebel-held areas in Damascus as well. Why would somebody go for this particular area? Uh, it's, uh, um, many analysts here believe that uh, um, uh, there are two inter interpretations for the situation. Uh, either the rebels want to uh, uh, make minorities uh, fearful and join uh, the armed forces, or uh, the interpretation could be blamed also on the government who wants to scare minorities uh, to, uh, from the uh, Salafi and, and terrorist groups. Uh, these kind of uh, double accusations coming from both sides have been ongoing uh, for long time and the regime from day one of the crisis in Syria was warning people against Salafist uh, extremist groups and such an attack would fall into uh, the analysis that the government is giving for the situation. Um, it is hard to know at the moment who is to blame and who is there behind the attack uh, but as we, ha as we have seen throughout the crisis in Syria that both sides of the conflict are blaming uh, the uh, um, putting the blame on the other.